everybody, I'm Kim O'Rourke. I'm the Recycling Coordinator for the City of Middletown and welcome to Recreation Recycles. So this is a segment where we do a recycling project or a recycling craft and we talk about um, some recycling tips. So um, right now it is March in 2021 and today we're going to be talking about packaging. So a lot of folks have um, deliveries being made to their houses and there sure is a lot of packaging coming out of those deliveries. And um, I've seen a lot of it. Unfortunately, most of it is not recyclable. So like this type of package, it looks like it would be, but it's not. It goes in the trash and it actually has a recycling symbol on it, but don't believe it. I checked with our recycling processing facility and they cannot accept this. The inside of it is definitely not recyclable and the outside, the paper, it has a plastic uh, lining in it and they don't want it. So it goes in the trash if you can't reuse it. The same thing for this type of packaging. You would think, oh, it's newspaper, ground up newspaper, it's probably recyclable, but it's not. So you could take the film off the outside of it and that could go back to retail like in Middletown Price Chopper will take plastic bags and plastic film back only the outside film but the inside if you can't use it for something else it goes in the trash the same thing for this type of uh, packaging the outside film could be recycled back at retail not in your recycling cart and then the inside of it, I forget what's on the inside. Um, it's, I'm not sure what it is, but it's not recyclable. So that would go in the trash. And then this one drives me crazy as well. Big recycling arrow with a number one on it, which I guess will tell us what type of material it's made out of but it's absolutely not recyclable in our recycling carts in Middletown. So, and it actually says, place me in your curbside recycling bin. Please don't, we cannot recycle this. And it would be considered contamination and we would get charged for it. So please put it in the trash if you can't recycle it. Um, we looked at this one again, this you can, plastic film you can take back to retail, the rest goes in the garbage, 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 garbage. So, um, and then this type of thing, so I'm kind of gonna focus on these. These are cooler bags. So my project this month has to do with cooler bags. I actually had a fun time coming up with all kinds of things that we can make out of these. Now this one's a little different, and my suggestion is to reuse it. A lot of times if I have these, if I get these bags, I'll keep them, and then if somebody comes over for dinner, which really is not happening right now, but uh, in the future and in the past, they can go home with leftovers, and if they have a little ways to travel, they can put it in a bag like this and it can stay cold. And hopefully they hold on to this and use it again. So that's, this is one type, which is a little different than what I usually see. But the other thing you could do with this is make it into a seat cushion. So if you're going to um, like a, a game or something with bleachers, you can use this to sit on and uh, be a little more comfortable. So kind of cool there. But now these uh, bags, I've gotten a lot of. People have given them to me because they don't go in the recycling bin. They don't know what to do with them. And I came up with a few different uh, crafts that you could do with these types of bags. And I'm going to show them to you now. It was actually kind of fun. Um, most of them were like this. They're the shiny cooler bags that a lot of the um, delivery services use. And you can actually use these for a lot of different things. Like I said first, reuse it first if you can. But if you're getting deliveries on a regular basis, you might generate quite a few of those. And some of the fun things that you can make out of them are the first thing I thought of was decorations. And this, oh, my heart fell off. 
So this is uh, just, uh, I was going to make a mobile, but then I ended up making kind of a string um, of hearts and stars. So that's kind of fun and you can really do anything with this. Another idea is to turn it into a coin purse or a wallet. And you can stick your phone in here, you can make it any kind of size. And it's a nice padded little bag you can that carry something in. You can turn it into a lunch bag and um, all any kind of size. You could put a handle on it if you wanted to. This one I made kind of flat because it kind of works if I'm going uh, hiking and I want to put something in my backpack. This is nice and thin and I can stick my snacks in here and it'll um, keep them cool. And it's not a big clunky lunch box that's sitting in my backpack. Now, I will admit that I did wrap a few Christmas presents out of this material. I usually try not to use wrapping paper because it's not recyclable and it's kind of wasteful, but I, you can use these cooler bags for any kind of wrapping paper and decorate it any, any way you want. Uh, again, it's not recyclable, so after you use it, it has to go in the trash but it does make a nice wrapping for a gift. You can use it, you can turn it into a picture frame, which I thought this was kind of cute and is gonna be hanging on my wall. And then you can also, this one is kind of cool. I made a, with the warm weather coming up, I made a, um, a sun shield for my car windshield. So that will help keep the sun out and we'll see how it works in the coming months. So those are some ideas. Um, did I get everything? I think I did. Yep. So those are some ideas on what you can do with these type of bags. The obviously and always the best thing is not to get them in the first place. But if you do, you can um, make a lot of fun projects out of them. And so I'm going to have a, um, a, a sheet on our website, on the City of Middletown website, that goes over the different projects I made and how to make them. I kind of got carried away, so I figured I'd just show you the items, and then they're, they're all very simple to do and uh, pretty easy to figure out. So I'll just have a basic how-to on the website so you can see how I made them. And um, hopefully... That gives you some good recycling information. Next month is April, and in the spirit of spring cleaning, I'm going to be uh, talking about green cleaners, and we're going to be uh, making uh, one of our own uh, all-purpose um, cleaner that you can use in your home. So thanks for watching Recreation Recycles, and we'll see you next month.